from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories with the first 20,000 doses of the coronavirus vaccine now in country. And government now preparing to get it into people. Next week, our vaccines should be rolled out. We have completed the IT program to ensure the registration of individuals so we can the entire system can be transparent and um, we're following the protocol and we would send our protocol to WHO so that um, the entire world would be familiar with what we have done. Prime Minister Minister and other officials at the airport yesterday when the vaccine arrived by plane he's already outlined who's going to be first in line to be vaccinated he says it'll all be done above board. There can be no possibility or question of any um, one jumping the line or showing favoritism to this one or the next. It would be totally transparent and you would have that information available to you. Healthcare workers continue to watch the numbers and they remain steady. 16 total cases for Tuesday, 12 of them in Abaco, two in Grand Bahama, one each in the capital and Cat Island. 16 persons remain in hospital, one in the ICU. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. There is some concern in Grand Bahama about possible spread of the virus there. The Tribune reporting that several students and a teacher from Mary Star of the Sea School were sent home to self-isolate after a student tested positive for the virus. There's no comment from the school officially on this report, but health officials are reportedly involved and the school is said to be following recommended protocols. Five men and two women in custody after drug agents found an estimated $330,000 worth of marijuana in a house here in the capital. The man shot and killed here in the capital this week has been identified as Renato Morley. He was shot in his car in the Pinewood Gardens area. Relatives say he was going to pick up a friend at the time. The motive for the shooting is not clear. 24 murders already for the year. Nothing new to report in the search for the two men missing in that plane crash off Acklands last week. Relatives are holding out hope the men are still alive somehow, and the search continues. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area now. Partly sunny, breezy again today. Maybe a passing shower. Highs from the mid-70s to low 80s. 77 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are still up for boaters. Winds still up around 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now, the next high around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines today marks a year since the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a pandemic. And despite vaccines, the virus continues to spread in a number of countries. Surges are being reported in Brazil and Italy. Six countries have reported more than 100,000 deaths from the virus, close to 30 million infections worldwide. Another move by China to further control Hong Kong. New election rules have been approved by the Chinese government, allowing only approved candidates to run for office in Hong Kong. Tribune's gas striker prices, Shell 452, SO 452, Rubens $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Job security for basketball coach McPhee McCune in the U.S. She gets an extension from her school. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. 
NBA is back after the All-Star break. Find out who played last night. More updates on Bahamian athletes in U.S. schools. And get the latest on Major League Baseball spring training games. And more official results from the recent swim meet here in the capital. All in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.